Hello there, Jay here from App Music Tutorials with yet another Zen Beats tutorial. Today you'll learn about using song templates, a great way to begin creating music right away. So we're going to cover a variety of topics including creating song templates from scratch, using existing song templates as the basis for creating another song template, creating a song template from an existing song, and deleting obsolete song templates from your system. That task I'm only able to accomplish on my PC. I have yet to figure out a way to delete song templates from either iOS or Android devices. So just to kind of put that out there right away. So if you want to find out more about these topics, we're going to get started here and I'm going to go into new song. I've got a new song. I'm going to delete the existing drum track. Just going to long press and delete that or right click delete. And now let's add in some track templates. If you happen to have followed along with that video, Lesson 12 Track Templates, then maybe you already have a bunch of user-defined track templates you have created. Uh, if not, you can select any track templates you want for this demonstration. I'm going to click plus, choose Track Template, and I'm going right to my user folder here. And I'm going to grab my J Basic 8 as the drums. Insert another track template. J Techno Bass. Insert another track template. J Clean Guitar Track. And last but not least, inserting another track template for my Zen Beats Multiverb Send. Now before I mention that when you create track templates, you're actually able to save the data the MIDI or the waveform data along with the settings for that track. It just so happens I really don't want this information out here, so I'm going to delete it at this point. And let me pop out my channel strip and make this a bit bigger. So now we've got a drum track, a nice bass we know is out there, a clean guitar track ready for use, and also our reverb send. So it only took us moments to build that, but just imagine if we can speed up that entire process and make it even quicker. So I can actually save this off if I want to uh, as a song or a song template. So let me go ahead and just click Save Song. Now keep in mind that if the song name is here, if you've already saved the song, you're not going to get this dialog that I'm going to get right now. This dialog only appears the first time you save the song if you click right here. So here's the dialog, here's the save song as dialog, and this is going to be the same whether you choose it here or, let me cancel that, if you were to go over to the hamburger menu to the left, choose song, save song as, you get the exact same dialog. So either way, one of those options will definitely work. So I'm going to call this J song template. And then down below where it says song type, this is where you choose whether it's a standard song or a song template. Now, when you save a song template, the only option you have is on device. And I'll show you what I mean. Apparently, it looks as though we can save song templates either to the device or Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. But that indeed is not the case. If you were to select either one of these other drive options, I'm going to choose Google Drive. It resets the song type to standard song. So again, if I choose song template, it's going to flip that over. So really the only option I have with song templates is to store them on my local device. So let's do that. I'm going to save the template. And by the way, I'm doing all of this on a PC. And from the PC is the only place I've learned how to delete these song templates. So if this is not something you want to save on your device, then don't save this because it'll appear in your song templates list then permanently. Now, if that's what you want, then let's go ahead and save this or just watch. Now this is actually a song template. So now rather than having to create a new song and start inserting tracks, what I can do is just go to the menu here. I'll just go to Song, Open Song. And now if I go to New Song, here is my list of song templates. 
including my very own J song templates. I can also use any of these existing song templates to create another song template from. So let's suppose I like the hip hop studio. I'm going to open that up. Let's say I just want to save this off as a template and then I'm going to build from it later on. I'll click the name here, which will open up the save song as dialog. Now, as soon as I change this to song template, it knows there's already a song template out there with the same name. So I'll just tag J on to the end here, if I can type that is. All right, so let's go ahead and save this song template. And again, when you save your song templates, they're going to appear under open song. Now there's my J hip hop studio song template. I can also create song templates from existing songs. So if I go to the my song section here, I'm going to open up the dream Zen. And so now it is fully loaded here. And if I wanted to, I could save this song. I could save all the properties of the song, including all of the effects, including all the automation, including all the sends, everything, and even the data if I want to. Now, typically you don't want the song data you might have a click track or something embedded, but really, um, typically these are going to be empty. So I'm just going to delete as much of this stuff as I can. And I'm just using my delete key once I just, and I'm just clicking and dragging. That's all I'm doing. No special keys or anything, just clicking and dragging using my delete button. You can use your finger of course, and achieve the same result, then just long press and you'll get the delete dialogue. In order to delete a freeze track or a track that's actually frozen currently, we have to unfreeze this track, unfreeze. And now I'm going to delete that last bit. Oh, there we go, a little bit more here. So now I've got all the audio data, all the MIDI data, stripped out of this and I'm left with, of course, all of the different setups. Again, everything's intact. Even track level automation, if I had deleted the track, the automation would still be there. Um, I can remove it, of course, but the automation would still be there if I wanted to like embed certain types of automation, I can do that into a track template and then, of course, a song template as well. Now to save this, I'm going to go right to the save as option from the hamburger menu. And I'm going to change this from standard song to song template. Song templates must be stored on the device, so I'll leave that alone. I'll click save. And now this is a song template. If I use my menu, go to song, open song, go to the new song section. Now I've got three of these templates out here. So these track templates are nice. And the reason they're nice is because if I want to start a fresh production now, let's say I want to use this Dream Zen as my starter template. I just open that up and there it is. And I am ready to go and I'm ready to begin making music. So the last thing I want to cover here is how do we remove track templates? So I'm going to bring this directory over. And so here is where I found it. This, if you just do just the install, the default installation paths, everything, then this is where it ought to be on your computer. The ones that I created today, And now they're in the recycle bin. Thanks for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed this 
lesson. I hope you learned some new stuff and hopefully you're able to take some of the information and make life easier for you as far as composing songs, songwriting, regardless of what level you're at. Using these templates is really going to speed up the process. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. If you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, please post them in the comments section. And don't forget, if you want to support me and my channel, if you like these videos, then please take the time to subscribe to it. Thanks again, everyone, and have a great day.